partial treasure now. Yesterday, we have completed this Dalton's law partial treasure. Mm, definitions, experiment, only what that uh, formula we have to derive, some more, one more formula we have to derive actually. You have seen this one, P1 plus P2. Everyone knows no? the total pressure of the gas, mixture of the gas will be what beta? The total pressure of mixture of gas will be sum of the partial pressures of individual gases here, correct or not? Some of the partial pressures of individual gases is nothing but called Dalton's law. Everyone remember this definition? Any difficulty is there remembering this definition? Now, if I take this type of example, for example, can you give answer now? Chemically, I told you in the last class, Dalton's law applicable for non-reacting gases only. If they react, what happened? You can't consider Dalton's law. Why? Because if they react, what happened? You will get one more product in that case. In that case, you may get some different values. Now, they only useful for what? Non-reacting gases. If you observe what happened, you see. <coughs> Nitrogen and oxygen, they don't react, so it can select. Nitrogen, chlorine, they don't, that means normal condition, I'm saying beta. When you heat, what happens? Nitrogen and oxygen, they react to give nitric oxide. But what I'm saying, at ordinary conditions, if you consider, at ordinary condition, nitrogen, helium, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen, they do not react with each other. Therefore, all these six, they can exhibit Dalton's law of partial pressure. Correct? Now, if I see what happened, hydrogen, fluorine, do they react? Tell me better. Yes, sir. Definitely what happened, they react to give HF. So, it will not give Dalton's law. Isn't it? So these will react. So try to take this one. So in your notebook, try to note this one because why? Because in MCQs, following which example cannot be taken for Dalton's. Otherwise, following which mixture of gases Dalton's law is not applicable. Otherwise, Dalton's law is applicable for following which mixture of gases. In that way, they may ask questions. So all of you take down this one, it's a better one. Either you take a snapshot, otherwise you can watch the video on YouTube, you will get this one, okay? So what are they? Hydrogen, fluorine, hydrogen, fluorine, carbon, monoxide, chlorine. We'll give COCl to better. Here it will get HF, here it will get HCl. We get carbonyl chloride is nothing but phosphogen, we can call this. Phosphogen, we can call this one, COCl2. And this will produce what happened? NO plus O2, NO2 we get here. Half oxygen in water. Ammonium chloride, NH4SCL, we get here. NH4CL, ammonium chloride. We are going to get a, a sulfuryl chloride, S42Cl2. Ammonium bromide, NH4BR. Now, when you observe here what happened, base is there. This is the base beta. This one is base. And this one is acid. So, when you have acid and base, definitely they will react. Okay? So in a reaction mixture, which are gas molecules, one is base, other is acid, definitely they will react. They undergo neutralization reaction. Understood better? This type of questions you may get here. Right? Now let me move to next slide now. Shall I move to next slide now? Have you noted everything? I am repeatedly saying, don't sit without any textbook, notebook, and pen. Don't watch the video. You yes, pen with you, write over our notebook. Try to write over our notebook. Read the text, see the textbook, and watch the video. Isn't it? Watch the screen. That is what useful for you. I have taken what x moles of nitrogen, and second first container I have taken x moles of nitrogen. In second container, I have taken Y moles of oxygen. In third container, I have taken X moles of nitrogen and Y moles of oxygen. Okay? That means what happened? I mixed that one. What happens in this case? Gas A. The pressure is how much here? Beta? 300. For gas B, 
whether it is how much beta 400 now these two are mixing where in this container value is same beta important thing is that value is same value and temperatures are same temperature comma value must be what see now what will be the pressure beta now tell me what will be the pressure beta the total pressure will be how much beta 100 partial pressure of a plus partial pressure of b what is the meaning of pa the pressure of gas a individual pressure of gas a individual pressure of gas b in container in this container which container in this container so definitely it will be 700 only right so this is what uh, the dalton's law yesterday we discussed this one we have discussed this one. but i think that we discussed on textbook by taking this the screen as a textbook we discussed okay. pa plus p very simple i think very very simple right next we will see what happened the derivation of dalton's law of partial pressures from the general gas equation now first of all we'll take some data over here some type of data over here n1 n2 n3 i am calling number of moles of gas molecules of a b c that means how many moles of a gas n1 moles there are n2 moles of gas b there are n3 moles of gas c the a b c are the gas molecules or gases and they are releasing exert a partial pressure of pa pb pc now we got actually two parameters we got one parameter is called partial pressure represented by capital p partial pressure represented by capital p other is moles number of moles represented by small n right understood beta ya ya tak simple only no now v is what volume of the container and p is what absolute temperature now this will be constant or not v is constant p is constant but you are taking what temperature the conditions now let me take here what happened partial pressure of a is equal to n1 into rt by shall i write this equation possible why i have written this equation anybody why i have taken this equation anybody beta can you say anybody i'm just i will be just a minute beta i will remove this this camera i am removing so that what happen you can consume less only 46 students are there remove camera what happen consume less data right tell me beta why i am taking this equation anybody i have taken this equation directly have the ideal gas equation ah uh, very good from ideal gas equation only i have taken you observe here beta pv is equal to nrt so this equation i have taken for which gas beta gas a i have taken gas a n1 i told you no value is constant temperature is constant or also constant for that no need to write a b c something like that now send this v over here send this o v over here do we get this equation or not tell me beta yes sir no if i take next one again pb pv is equal to again nrt formula pv is equal to nrt and this is constant this is constant and this one also constant and this i have taken n now send this v over here now what we get pb is equal to n2 into rt by v second equation third one pc is equal to n3 into rt by v so we got three equations beta any doubts regarding three equations anybody have doubt here regarding these three no sir no doubt right very good now we'll move to what next reaction already we know this one no sir plus pb plus pc is equal to p total right now n1 n2 plus shall I write like this the three equations shall I write like this all these three i'm writing something pa plus pb plus pc is equal to what beta n1 
into R T by V, isn't it? Plus N two R T by V. Lastly, what happened? N three R T by V. Now take R T by V. R T by V is common or not? Now take common here. What we get? N one plus N two plus N three into what here? R T by V. Correct or not? Tell me better. Yes, sir. Now I am taking this equation in the next slide directly here. You see here, next slide, all of you observe here what happened. You got this equation. Correct or not? Everyone got how this equation we got by adding equation number one, equation number two, equation number three. This we got. This is the equation we got. Any doubts? No doubts. Any. This you take as a fourth equation. Now. Already we know P A plus P B plus P C is equal to how much beta? P total, correct or not? So in place of this one, I can take what beta? P total. The total pressure exerted by the gas mixture is enclosed in the same container of the V. Can also given as something. This is what P total. Write on P total. P P. Now N one, N two, N three. You take number of moles of total mixture. N is nothing but here number of moles of Total mixture and is nothing but your what beta? This is all if you add everything. Yeah, nothing but what number of moles of total mixture, right? Any doubts regarding this one? If I write like this, fifth equation, do you have any doubts on fifty fifth equation beta? No doubt. No. No equal doubt. to total number of the moles, right? No. Now, so that P is equal to n one plus n two plus something. We got this equation, fifth equation. Right. We move to what next slide now. Next slide we will see now. What is fourth equation? And sixth equation. Let me see. Fourth equation is what actually? What I am taking here. Leave it fourth and sixth equation. Everyone knows the sixth equation. What I am writing directly sixth equation beta P total. A P total capital P is nothing but P total is equal to what we got beta n into R T by V. This equation is what sixth equation or not beta? Tell me. Yes sir. Right. Now what is first equation beta? What is first equation? P A is equal to n one R T by V. Correct or not? This is the first equation. Correct or not beta? Yes sir. Right now, what I am doing? Three times I will do equation number one by six, two by six, three by six. Right? Let me let me do down this one. Now, first of all, I am doing what? One by six. Equation number one, equation number six. Now, this P A N one into R T N, isn't it? Now, let me see. First of all, what happened? I, I, I can directly. I, I will write over here. What is actually first equation? This one. One by six. Now R T by V R T by V cancelled or not? Cancelled or not, beta? R T by V R T by V cancelled. Correct. Now what is the remaining beta? P A by P C. P A by total pressure. Yes. P A by total pressure is equal to n one by n. N one by n. N is equal to what beta? What is the meaning of n? N is equal to n one plus n two plus n three. Now in the place of n, what I am taking here? N one plus n two plus n three. I am taking. Okay. Now you leave it this one, beta. You to avoid confusion, leave it this. One. You just see this one. P A by P is equal to n one by n two plus n three. Now next, what happen? Leave it this one because we send this P one over here. You just leave it this one, right. What actually you see here? What is the meaning of this one? Anybody knows about this one? Anybody knows about this one? Because we have seen in the basic concepts. Anybody do remember this one? Basic concepts of chemistry, first chapter. Mole fraction. Mole fraction. Very good, beta. Mole fraction. Mole fraction of what? Gas A. Mole fraction of gas A. Now N one. I am writing what happened. N one by N one plus N two plus N three is equal to mole fraction of Which one better? Gas A. For example, N two by N one plus N two plus N three is equal to mole fraction of what? Gas B. Mole fraction of gas B. Similarly, what happens? We can write mole fraction of. That means 
the number of moles of ga gas A with respect to total number of moles is called what? Mole fraction of E. The number of moles of gas B with respect to total number of moles is called what? Mole fraction of gas B. Now, after sending this P over here, this P, P I'm sending over here, here I'm sending, okay? Now, what we get here, beta? P A is equal to mole fraction of A into P. Now, based upon this, what I can write here? P A means what? Partial pressure of A. X A is nothing but mole fraction of A. P is nothing but here what? Total pressure. Total pressure. Now, always remember beta. For example, a mixture is having A plus B. Mixture is having A plus B. In this case, mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B is always equal to 1. In that case, mole fraction of B is equal to how much? 1 minus mole fraction of A. Mole fraction of A is equal to what? 1 minus mole fraction of B. For example, if a mixture is something A plus B plus C in that case. In that case, mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B plus mole fraction of C is equal to how much? Here? 1. In that case, mole fraction of A is equal to how much better? 1 minus mole fraction of B plus mole fraction of C. I can derive this form. Right? So here, this is the... So what is the formula we are going to... I am writing over this formula here. What formula we got here? Partial pressure of A is equal to mole fraction of A into P total. P total. Otherwise, I am putting dot over here. To avoid the confusion, I am putting over dot. Now, based upon this, partial pressure of B is equal to what better? Anybody? Partial pressure of B is equal to? XB into PT. Hmm. Mole fraction of B so into P total. Partial pressure of C is equal to mole fraction of C into P total. P total is common for everything. P total will be common. This is common for everything. Only we have to see mole fraction of A, mole fraction of B. So this is the formula we are using now to calculate the total pressures and individual pressures of the gases. So remember what is the meaning of PA? It is the pressure of gas A in the mixture beta. Remember that one. This is the pressure of the gas A in the mixture. For example, I have taken this is the container A, B, C. Now, what is the meaning of partial pressure of A means the pressure of the gas A in the mixture. Actually, this is what actually? A. This one will be B. This one will be C actually. Now, I am not taking the partial pressure. This The pressure of A is not called partial pressure of A. This is not, I am not writing. Individually, it is not called beta. Individually, if you want to write, that is P naught I have to write. P naught A means the difference you have to identify now here, but it is a very important one. P A and P naught A. What is the meaning of this one? You assume this one. P naught A means it is the pressure of the gas when it is not mixed with what? Each other. It is the pressure of the gas A when it is mixed in the container. This is you have to remember, right? Now we got many number of formulas will come over here, beta. You get many number of problems. Formulas will come. All are what looks similar only. Now we do directly problems. We got this type of form. You see? What is the partial pressure of C? Mole fraction of C into P total. What is the partial pressure of B? Mole fraction of B into P total. The above relationship percentage of gas in mixture will be taken as what partial pressure of gas divided by total pressure of the gas correct or not because partial pressure of a is equal to what mole fraction of a into p total similarly partial pressure of b is equal to mole fraction of b into p total similarly partial pressure of c is equal to mole fraction of c into p total now all these if you mix then it now, what we get? Mole fraction, you send here. Mole fraction of B, A is equal to what formula we get beta? Mole fraction of A is equal to what formula we get? Partial pressure of A by B total. So they are taking this way. The percentage of gas in mixture, that is nothing but mole fraction of A, is equal to partial pressure of that gas divided by total pressure. What is the percentage of, percentage of gas A? I want to calculate percentage of gas A, nothing but Mole fraction of, isn't it? A. 
mole fraction of a is nothing but what is the meaning of mole fraction of a percentage of gas a in mixture is equal to what partial pressure of a divided by total pressure understood what Continue. understood what when you try it, when you calculate percentage what happen you have to multiply this one 100 that is always you have to do One more formula actually is not useful for you in your textbook. What happened? This formula is not there. But anyhow, what happened when you are according to the Boyle's law? What happened when you derive the formula? P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. In that case, the total pressure, if you want to get that one, you have to consider the total volume also. V1 plus V2 also compulsory you have to take. Okay, total volume compulsory you have to consider. Okay, for example, uh, a gas is there something P1 pressure, V1 volume, P2 pressure, V2. Now I want to calculate the P total. I want to calculate the P total. I have to mix these two. So when you mix what happened, you have to divide total value. V total also you have to compulsory. Why? Because if you see this one, you will come over here. No. Pt into Vt that is equal to what? P1, V1 plus what happened? P2, V2. So same thing we are going to get. That is only the day they told here what happened. Nothing. There is no, no need for the answer. Anybody give answer for this one? Is it possible? Non-reacting gaseous mixture. Which is correct one, beta? All of these. All the above. Yes, sir. Very good. All of these. When I give what happened, these questions, you are what uh, responding very easy. Yes. Yeah. Easily means what happened. Immediately you are responding. Now some questions what happened, you don't respond. And this already we discussed yesterday only, you no, know, aqueous tension. Extension. The how to capture the this dry pressure? Pressure of dry condition. How you calculate by pressure of moist gas minus aqueous tension? We'll do some problems over this one. Yesterday we discussed this one. So questions like this. Now if you see this problem, all of you please. This how to do this problem? Which formula we have to take? A fixed at fixed temperature 600 pressure. Density is given 42. Temperature fixed. T is constant, but T is constant. So P1 is given how much? 600. Density D1 is given 42. Again, temperature is constant. P2 is given 700. And they are asking D2. What formula we have to take? P1 by D1 equals to P2. Yes. yes, beta. Repeat that one. P1 by D1 is equals to P2 by D2. Yesterday I told you PM is equal to DRT formula. PM is equal to DRT formula. Okay. Now, same gas or not? Gas is same or not? In the account of the problem, gas is same or different? Read the problem. Same gas or different gas? Same. Same gas. That M is constant. Same. M is nothing but what beta M? M is what here? Molar mass. Molar mass. Constant. Remove this one. Are gas constant? Temperature constant or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Formula if you observe. Now we can write. P M D into K because this is constant, this is also constant. So even if you send what happened, same thing we get. Otherwise, what happened? You can take constant, isn't it? You send here. Is it take K prime? What we get here? P by D is equal to constant. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Now, based upon that, you somebody told me that formula just now. What is that formula you said? P1 D1 is equal to P2 D2. Now what they are asking? D2 they are asking. Now substitute here P1 is equal to how much beta? 600. D1 is equal to 42. P2 is equal to 700. D2. And D2 is equal to what we are going to get? 700 into 42 49. divided by 600. Now, if you do the problem, we get the answer. 
Now, do 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 we remember this formula? P one D one is equal to P two D two. No need actually. If you remember, no problem. Better, but you can derive the formula by using this equation. P M is equal D R T is very simple. Then compare with P one D one because many many formulas are there. When you have many number of formulas, don't remember that. Instead, you can easily derive that one. Derivation is very easy when you compare with remembering. So when you take all these formula, we get everything uh, in terms of everything. P directly proportional to density. You otherwise you remember like this. P directly proportional to density. But it should be what at constant temperature beta. At constant temperature, that is very very important. So this type of problems are very important for you in examination. Forty nine you are getting guys. Everyone got forty nine, I think. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now we'll take one more five grams of helium. Five grams of helium at twenty-seven degrees Celsius. The weight is given. Temperature is given. Pressure is what? Point five atmosphere to two atmosphere. Five grams of helium at twenty-seven degrees Celsius is subjected to pressure change from point five atmosphere to two atmosphere. The initial value of the gas is ten decimeter cube. Decimeter cube is nothing but what? One liter beta. Is one liter, one decimeter cube is equal to one liter. Calculate the change in the value of the gas. They are asking how to do this one. You take what happened. All the data first of all. P one, P one is equal to how much? Let me see. P one is equal to what? Point five. P two is equal to two. P one is equal to they given this one. P one is one. N decimeter. They are asking P two. The temperature is constant or not, beta? You see this one. Read the problem and say temperature is constant or not. It is constant or not? Yes, yes sir. Constant. When you have temperature is constant. Constant. Definitely, which law we can use here? Boyle's law we can use. Now you can take this formula P one V one formula and substitute everything. You will get the answer. V two is equal to what? This formula. Now P one form how much? Point five ten into P two. Now answer is it answer two point five? Two point five. Yes sir. Now two point five is answer. Is two point five is answer or not? Tell me. What they are asking? How much the value of the gas obtained? Ten to what? Change in five. Now V one is equal to ten. V two is equal to two. Because pressure increases, what happens? Value decreases. So value pressure at this. Uh, what is the pressure at this time? Point five. So pressure increases to two atmosphere. Definitely value will decreases. Decrease. How much decreased beta? It will be what here? So seven point five. This will be the answer. Understood here? So you have to read question. They are not asking the resulting value. They are asking what here? Change in the value. So read that carefully when they given question. Resulting value will be what here? Two point five only. But how much change in the value took place here? Ten minus two point five. Understood, beta? Yeah. Sir, the value of the sample of oxygen at uh, pressure three point five bar. If value is one, by same thing you can do. This also, I think we have discussed this problem. I think last class only. Discussed in the last. So we'll do one thing actually. First, we complete the the Dalton's law problem beta. After that, we'll do every all the remaining problems. Whatever the problems are given in exercise, we'll see that every problem and do that. So today we can complete the syllabus so that what happen remaining problems, whatever are there, will be discussed.
Dalton's law partial pressure beta. The theory is completed. Let me see this problem beta. 5.4. Okay. 5.4. Otherwise, if you have any. Take the 5.7 problem because that problem already solved. No, you can do that one. I think. Okay. Let me see 5.7 beta. Shall we take 5.7 problem? Yes, sir. Because 5.7 is related to what here Dalton's law of pressure. What will be the pressure exerted? Total pressure by mixture of 3.2 grams of methane, 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide containing volume is 9 liters. At 27 degrees. This is according to Dalton's law. I will do this problem, and your homework is what? Just copying this one. Simply, you have to copy this one. You can copy this one. Same. This is also Dalton's law, right? So I will do this one. First of all, we note this problem. Note the data first of all. What data they give? And next, first of all, 3.2 grams of methane. 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide, 9 liter and 27 degrees Celsius. Let me do this one now on the. Tell me about what is the weight of methane beta? Weight of three point two grams. Three point two grams, right? And weight of the carbon dioxide, I think, four point four grams. Four point four grams. And total volume is given how much beta? V total is given how much? Nine nine dm cube. Nine dm cube. That means nine liter, nine decimeter cube, right? Nine decimeter cube. A nine liter. Temperature is given, but temperature is how much better? Twenty-seven degrees. Twenty-seven degrees. Twenty-seven degrees. But take this one as what? Three hundred Kelvin. Just by adding with what? Two seventy-three. Three hundred Kelvin. Now, first of all, they are asking P total. P total is equal to what is the formula beta? The container containing methane plus carbon dioxide. Correct. Now P total is equal to what? Partial pressure of what? Methane. Correct. Plus partial pressure of what? Tell me better. Carbon dioxide. Carbon. This is according to which law? Beta? According, according to which law? Beta? This one. Dalton's law. According to Dalton's law. And these are non-reactive gases. Methane, carbon dioxide. They don't react never at normal temperatures. Now already we know that one. Partial pressure of methane is equal to. We can write what? Tell me better. What is the definition of partial pressure of methane? Mole fraction of methane into total pressure. Total pressure. Right. Similarly, partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide means mole fraction of carbon dioxide into what? P total, right? Now, what we'll do here? First of all, we'll calculate mole fraction of methane, mole fraction of carbon dioxide. Correct? Let me this. Let me take this one. Hmm. Mole fraction of methane out of all. Now, first of all, mole fraction of methane is equal to what? Number of moles of methane by Next total number of moles. Again, number of moles of methane plus number of moles of carbon dioxide. Correct or not? Formula is correct. Yes, sir. Now let me take now number of moles of methane now here. Formula. Hmm. Weight of methane divided by molar mass of methane. Weight of methane is given three point two grams. Molar molar mass of methane will be how much better? So sixteen. 
Now you convert three pi into like this. That t two into ten to the power of minus one, right? And take sixteen. Sixteen ones are sixteen two zero. So it will be what here? Point two. So we moles of methane equal to how much we got? Point two bit. Next number of moles of what? Next carbon dioxide. Number of moles of carbon dioxide. Again rate of carbon dioxide divided by molar mass of carbon dioxide. Rate of carbon dioxide is given. I think four point four. Mark the rate of carbon dioxide, beta. Forty four. Four. Forty four. Four into ten to the power of minus one. You write this one, and write down this forty four only. They are getting cancelled. Point ten to the power of minus one means what? Point. So number of moles of carbon dioxide you got. Point. Now I'm 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 calculating what actually mole fraction of your CH four. Formula is what? Here is the formula. This formula I'm substituting. Number of moles of methane, point two, divided by number of moles of again methane, point two, plus number of moles of carbon dioxide, point one. So this will be what? Point two divided by point three. Okay. Now I'm writing this one two into ten to the power of minus one. Get three into ten to the power of minus one. Ten to the power of minus one. Ten to the power of minus one cancel. The remaining how much we got? Two by three. Two by three is equal to how much, beta? Two by three is equal to how much here? Zero point six. Zero point six. Six 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 sorry sorry sorry. Eighteen means what? Six six to the eighteen. How much will be again? Twenty again six. Point six six something we get. Correct. Next. What about mole fraction of carbon dioxide? Which formula I have to take, beta? Mole fraction of carbon dioxide. Number of moles of carbon dioxide by number of zero point one divided by zero point three. Yes, number of moles of methane. But if you use what happen, you need to add more time it will take. So in that, what I am writing? Shall I take this formula? Mole fraction of methane. Plus mole fraction of carbon dioxide is equal to one. Shall I write like this? Now in this case, mole fraction of carbon dioxide is equal to one minus mole fraction of methane. Shall I take this form? Is because this is e easy, no? When you compare substituting number of moles of carbon dioxide, point one divided by total number of moles again, point one plus point two, isn't it? You will get what happened? One by three. Just have again one by three means what happen? We'll take same value, you know. So what I'm taking one minus what happen? Point, isn't it? So how much we get here? Point three four. We are going to get. So mole fraction of carbon dioxide. How much we got? Point three four. We got here, isn't it? After that, uh, so we have to calculate here what? We need actually what they are asking? P total they are asking, but. If this form, this problem, if you do what happen, if you do this problem, what happen? P total is uh, we don't we we require no here to calculate the partial pressure of methane. P total we require P total is not given. No, what we'll do here? We'll take another formula. We'll take another formula, not this formula. We'll take another formula like that formula. We'll take now. What formula we'll take? Ideal gas equation formula. We'll take. What is that? PV is equal to N R T. Temperature is constant. Okay, temperature is constant. How much it is? Three hundred Kelvin. R is also constant. N means total number of moles. Total number of moles. V means total value. V total. P means what? Total pressure. Now, based on this, P total is equal to what I can write: total number of moles into R into temperature. You write small letter. Total number of moles divided by what? V total. Now, substitute in this one. How many moles are there? Total number of moles. How many, beta? How many moles we are having? Total number of moles. How many moles of methane we are having, beta? Methane, how many moles? Point two. So 
पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ सो मेनी बेटा जीरो पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट टू प्लस पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री ओके इन टू आर वैल्यू यू आर टेकन इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेसी मीटर आर लीटर्स सो टेक व्हाट एपन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो एट समथिंग व्हाट एपन थ्री वन इन टू टेम्परेचर टू सेवेंटी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय व्हाट एक्चुअली वैल्यूम वैल्यूम ऑफ मशीन टेकन नाइन Now do this one. You will get the answer. Actually, I think it is. Uh, um, I want to do in the Dalton's law partial pressure, but uh, here uh, I forgot on this one. P total is uh, not given. No, so actually we have to calculate that. So here mole fractions are no not required for us. But not some. Sorry, mole fractions are not required for us. This one is not required. Excuse me, Hold sir. Sir, we should take temperature of. The uh, is three hundred. No, you have taken two seventy three. Ah, three hundred only. Three hundred only. We are doing. So mole fraction, you need to calculate better. Mm, I want to do the problem Dalton's law. So taken mole fraction. But we have to calculate number of moles compulsive. This one is not. So wherever mole fraction is there, don't take that. Even mole fraction is not required. So Dalton's law, we are not taking beta. Which which equation we are taking here? Ideal gas equation. Based on ideal gas equation. Okay. Here it is what three hundred kilo. This one you have to take compulsory. Number of moles of methane. Number of moles of carbon dioxide. N T is equal to total number of moles is equal to what? Number of moles of methane plus number of moles of carbon. So if you do this one, what happens? You will get the answer. Zero point eight three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five point one five. You see, calculate the total pressure of a mixture: eight grams of dioxygen, four grams of dihydrogen, and uh, volume is what one decimeter cube. R value same problem: five point one five and five point seven. Both are what same problems, but it is not Dalton's formula. Don't take Dalton's. It is not Dalton's ideal gas equation. Go for what? Ideal gas equation. This is also what? Ideal gas equation. Right? So P V is equal to M R T formula. We can take. But you have to calculate N here. So N is nothing but number of moles of oxygen, number of moles of hydrogen. Okay, you take this is a homework for me, brother. Okay, this is a homework for me. Five point nineteen. Five point nineteen. A mixture of dihydrogen and oxygen. O two plus hydrogen. Pressure of dioxygen. A mixture of dihydrogen and di oxygen and one bar present contains twenty percent by weight of dihydrogen. That means twenty grams will be what here. Hydrogen and 80 grams will be what here? Oxygen. Then uh, they are asking partial pressure of dihydrogen. They are asking what here? Partial pressure of dihydrogen. What is the formula, beta? P total. P total. Now P total is given or not? Tell me, beta. In problem. P total is given. How much, beta? Given how much beta? Bar pressure, sir. 
How much? Sir, one bar. P total, how much? One bar. One P bar total is equal to what? One bar is given. Bar is given. Now what we have to calculate here partial pressure of hydrogen. So if we calculate the mole fraction of hydrogen, we can calculate the partial pressure of hydrogen. So what will be the partial pressure of hydrogen, beta? We have to calculate mole fraction of hydrogen is equal to formula number of moles of hydrogen divided by total number of moles. Total number of moles means number of moles of hydrogen plus number of moles of oxygen. Now calculate this one. Possible? No. Number of moles of hydrogen is equal to beta of hydrogen divided by molar mass of hydrogen. Now, what weight they have taken hydrogen beta? 20. Molar mass of dihydrogen is 2 or 1 beta? Molar mass of dihydrogen will be 2 or 1. Two. 2. Therefore, what happened? 2, two can cancel. How much we get? 10 moles. Number of moles of hydrogen is equal to 10 moles. Now, number of moles of dioxygen, O2. Weight of oxygen, mass of weight of oxygen. Weight is 80 grams. Because 1 is 20 percent means remaining will be 80 percent only, no? Then molecular weight will be for dioxygen, anybody? What is the molecular weight of dioxygen? 32. 32 beta. 30, 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Number of moles of oxygen, 2.5. Therefore, it will be 10 by 12.5. 10 by 12.5. 12 12.5 much? 0.8 it is. Mole fraction of uh, hydrogen is 0.8. Then put this formula. Partial pressure of hydrogen is equal to more fraction of hydrogen is equal to 0.8. Total pressure is also given one bar only. So answer will be 0.8. Now what is partial pressure of oxygen beta? What is partial pressure of oxygen? Dioxygen. Mole fraction of oxygen into P total. Now what will be the mole fraction of oxygen beta? What is the mole fraction of oxygen? How you calculate? Mole fraction of hydrogen plus mole fraction of oxygen is equal to what? 1. Already we got mole fraction of hydrogen is equal to how much we got? 0.8. So mole fraction of oxygen that is equal to 1. So mole fraction of oxygen is equal to how much we got? 1 minus 0.8 that is equal to what here? 0.2. So mole fraction of oxygen is equal to 0.2. P total is given 1. So answer will be what here? 0 0.2. What is the total pressure? P total is equal to partial pressure of A plus partial. Partial pressure of what? Hydrogen plus one pressure of what? Oxygen. How much we are getting? 1 is 0.8. And what happened? 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Is equal to how much we got? 1. Now, in the how much they given beta? Total pressure how much given? You see? One bar. One bar, sir. Turn on. Yes. So, this we can prove that the total pressure is one only. So, this is about something what? Dalton's mind. So, you complete that exercise which is given in the textbook here. Textbook in the exercise here. Solved problem. You complete that one. So, with this what happened? Remaining is not there in the portion beta. You can leave it that one. So whatever the questions are there, tomorrow we'll discuss remaining questions and we'll start thermodynamics also. Anybody have questions? No, sir. Only 48 students are there today. Only 48. I will check, take the attendance better. All of you. Stay with me now. Two more, two more minutes, you stay with me. Uh, 
अभिषेक शर्मा प्रेजेंट सर अभिषेक वाई प्रेजेंट सर आकृति प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य एब्सेंट अंशु अपूर्वा प्रेजेंट सर आशिफ प्रेजेंट सर अतरवा अतुल रावत प्रेजेंट सर आयुष प्रेजेंट सर बालमकुंद प्रेजेंट सर भारती पाटिल धनश्री दीप्ता ज्ञानेश्वरी प्रेजेंट सर गुलाबी प्रेजेंट सर स्पेश प्रेजेंट सर कौशल प्रेजेंट सर मनोज प्रेजेंट सर ओमकार प्रेजेंट सर ओमकार डीएम प्रेजेंट सर ओमकार पीसी प्रेजेंट सर समीक्षा प्रेजेंट सर प्रदमेश प्रेजेंट सर राघव राहुल प्रेजेंट सर रम्या प्रेजेंट सर रोहित प्रेजेंट सर समृद्ध प्रेजेंट सर सपना एब्सेंट प्रेजेंट सर सपना एब्सेंट राइट सार्थक प्रेजेंट सर शशि प्रेजेंट सर शशिधर प्रेजेंट सर स्नेहा जी प्रेजेंट सर स्नेहा वी एस प्रेजेंट सर सोनाली श्रीहरि श्रीहरि एब्सेंट प्रेजेंट सर श्रीहरि सुमित एम प्रेजेंट सर सुमित एस डी प्रेजेंट सूरज प्रेजेंट प्लास्टिका प्रेजेंट तेजस्विनी प्रेजेंट सर प्रियंबक उमेश प्रेजेंट सर वैष्णवी जे प्रेजेंट सर वैष्णवी एन प्रेजेंट वेदांत माय मच नॉट वर्किंग प्रेजेंट सर विशाल यस प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट सर पल्लवी प्रेजेंट सर पल्लवी पल्लवी एप्स आई एम जस्ट रीडिंग द एब्सेंट इज नेम बेटर टुडे pallavi vaman vaman is not visible vaman vaman is absent today priyambak present suraj to you absent a uh, present suraj to you no suraj to you is absent श्रीहरि एब्सेंट सर आई एम प्रेजेंट माय माइक वाज नॉट वर्किंग सर हु श्रीहरि राइट राज डोंट ट्राई डोंट सेंड एनी मैसेज बेटा डोंट डू एनी मैसेजेस
वो जस्ट एबसेंट वो जस्ट एबसेंट मयूर एबसेंट मयूर एबसेंट अथर्वा प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट है देखा देखा अनुष्का एबसेंट अनुष्का इज एबसेंट टूडे अनुज एबसेंट आदित्य एबसेंट सो दीज आर द एबसेंट दिस नेम बेटा so all of you uh, what i told you now problem i'm just revising this one you see this one you complete compulsory by tomorrow okay so tomorrow will meet at we again same 9 9 o'clock and you complete this problem beta right so you don't have this mark class speeds so leave it this one right and one more thing remaining problems what we discussed today Isn't it? Remaining problems. What we discuss. You try the remaining problems, and whatever the problems you are not getting, you can ask me now. Isn't it? This is there. So five point nine. You can do this one. I think five point nine. We can do because today only we discuss this one. P M is equal to D R T formula. P M is equal to which formula we have taken? D R T formula. So based upon this, what what we can derive? Today only we discuss this one. M cancelled, R cancelled, T cancelled because they are constants. So P1, B1 divided by D1, and again what happened? P2 by D2. Take this formula, I can do this. Okay. The so remaining formulas you have to do this one. So whatever the doubts you are having, we'll discuss tomorrow, right? Shall we leave now? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Right. Tomorrow we'll meet at nine. Thank you, sir. 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 Why you are sending these messages? I told you no. Don't put any message over here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. If anybody have doubts, you can stay with me. Remaining, what happened?